just want to do this for you. Okay. I've done this before, but I think it's important that you hear it one more time. There are many people who struggle in their big group. They have big books, they attend seminars, they listen to speakers. But somehow they cannot be big free. You can even go to congress and seminars and everything for many years. And then what you would normally say is what? You say things like, same thing. They're saying the same thing again. Just do it la, you know, uh, be positive la, so and so forth. And what happens next is that they stop going for the seminar, they stop learning. What I want to share with you is that this phenomena is very common. And what is the reason for that? And you should be aware of this and not to get into this uh, this, this, this cycle of thinking. You see, a lot of uh, teachers and speakers tell us things that we need to do, seven steps to success. You know, the what, the how. Uh, hopefully the how. Right? Most of them don't talk about the how. They just tell you, they paint you the picture of MDRT, they paint you the picture of success, and they tell you and they will expect you to go and do it. But the reason you can't do it, you must you must know about it. The reason you can't do it is because they have not really addressed the issue of where you are. I repeat again, they have not addressed the issue of where you are right now. But they keep telling you where you ought to go. Okay, to help you to understand this, let me ask you, if, I think I've asked you this before, but let me ask you again. If I were to ask, if you were to ask me, you know, Leonard, how to get to Changi Airport? Before I can give you the answer, what is the thing that I must ask you? Where is something from? Where are you right now? Right? If, if your answer to me is, I don't know where I am. This place doesn't look familiar at all. I do not know. No road sign, nothing. I really don't know. If your answer to me is that, my question to you is, can I lead you to Changi Airport? I think it's impossible. Because I don't know where you are. And I think that is the reason why speakers, teachers, and even books sometimes don't answer our question fully. And, and in so doing, we cannot benefit from it. It's because why? You do not know where you are. So what you need to really do is to be very careful with all your exercises that you have been telling you to do. Your self-awareness, your, your, your calming exercise, your centering exercise, and all those things. Because you really need to know where you are. You really need to see the truth of yourself. And your ability to be honest, as honest as possible with yourself is so important. Not only for yourself, but even in the sharing session, in order to benefit from it. Because when you are truly honest and open to the learning, you know, you empty your cup. You come in an empty cup. I'm really open. Tell me. You know? The opposite of this is, oh, I know really, I, I know, I know, I've tried before, everything I know. That means you, you, you come with a full cup. Nobody else can point to your cup anymore. They're not open anymore. But when you're truly open, you come with an empty cup. You're here to learn. And if you have the ability to be honest with yourself, and by doing all the exercises, you will truly see yourself exactly where you are. And when you, see, you know exactly where you are, and then, you see where you need to go or, or, you, or you learn from a book or from a speaker or from our session where you need to go then from there you can create a bridge to get from where you are to where you want to go unless you know where you are the bridge cannot be erected so that is a very important thing alright uh, be very clear about this because this is the answer that you are really looking for of course the rest of the thing is for you to implement, to practice, to work it out. Right? But you must have a bridge to get to where you want to go to. Okay?